Hey everybody, back again and tonight we are at the Paletta Mansion uh, in, I believe it's considered in Burlington, might be considered Oakville, I don't really know, one or the other, they're close. Uh, but we're going to do a very preliminary quick investigation here. We have a special guest tonight back on the channel because you seem to like her so much last time. We've got Kelly back. Hi everybody. So we are going to see if we get anything here. There is a private event going on in the main mansion. So we are sticking towards some of the outbuildings and maybe on the grounds a little bit. We'll see what we can get in. But uh, yeah, we're just gonna see what we can get, if anything, comes up on a search of haunted places. So we'll, uh, we'll do some, some digging around. And then at the end, I'll get Kelly to talk a little bit about the story of this place and see if anything that we got matches up to what the story is. Let's uh, get some gear out, get investigating and see what happens. Let's go. Okay, we've got uh, Kelly on camera. I am off camera. And Kelly has the, um, the EMF meter. I'm gonna bring in a REM pod as well. I'm just gonna turn it on here. Maybe, oh, there we go. Uh, Kelly's, Kelly's GPS went weird on the way here. Mm-hmm. And um, that, that was weird. I don't know this well, so like Yeah, but that shouldn't have done that. That shouldn't have done that. Okay. Okay, so it's now on maximum sensitivity. And so the fact that it went off even before and then you backed away and came back, that's really weird. Okay. I'm gonna, I'm just gonna flip the screen so I can see where we are on camera. Sure. This is not my normal filming lens. I'm trying something a little different here. Okay. So I don't mind people knowing that. So did I, of course I didn't remember to bring the spirit box with me. We're super organized here tonight, Kelly. <laughs> well, our first location plan fell through, so this is yes. our plan B for tonight. Plan B. Okay, so if there is anybody here with us tonight, uh, my name is Brian, this is Kelly, and we are here to have a chat with you, hopefully, learn about you. You can go near this device on the ground. It will make noise if you go near it, which you have to be that close to make it go yellow. Oh, so, so that's strange. That is that really is strange, very strange that that happens. To get the yellow happening like hmm. right away like that. Okay. So we already had the yellow on the REM pod. I don't know if you saw it on camera or not. I don't think it's on camera, but it did go yellow as soon as we put it on the ground here. So maybe. All right. Because that's, that's never really done that before. <laughs> okay. I love when different things do. Yeah. Strange things. Kind of something. Um, is, uh, I didn't get to use this last time. Should I be like moving it um, around or? So basically if something comes near and let's see if the battery on this will set it off a little bit. Oh, I remember. Yeah. Oh, so that you'll just get... was ticking when you did that. I think I remember you showing me that on a battery. Something was ticking there. Yep. Just a tiny bit. Weird. Is someone here with us? You can go near it if you want. It, it will not hurt you. And we are here just to talk with you. We're not going to hurt you either. I and mean, I've never investigated here before, okay. so I don't know. And in my typical fashion, I know nothing about the story. Okay. You know nothing about the story right, right now. Right. Uh, so we are going to actually research it together. And once we're done filming this and I'll get Kelly to talk about it on camera. Sounds good use her teacher vibes. And <laughs> I, I, it maybe is my, sh it's my shadow. I keep like seeing a figure oh, okay. behind me, but it's our shadows that are blue. <laughs> yeah, we, we can see the screen with what's recording here. You said you did an app test here, correct? I did a quick app test here of a necrophonic app. No, that was closer to the house. Okay. And it was actually the only time that I think I ever got anything legitimate through that app. Okay. Even though I've tried it at multiple, multiple places, I okay. got something interesting okay. through it. Okay. For our area at this time of year, it's actually incredibly warm tonight. So. Mm -hmm. 
considering they're calling for some snow in some areas on Monday. I had not heard that. Uh, yeah. <laughs> I'm not ready. <laughs> I still have to get my winter tires on. Yeah, same. I actually ordered them like a month ago just so that they were in and ready to go. Perfect. Oh, yeah, your new vehicle. I needed them right. for the new vehicle, yeah. That was painful to buy. The tires? Yeah. Because I wanted rims as well. Yeah. That's what I do too. So much easier to swap and you don't damage your nice rims and yeah. Mm-hmm. If there's anybody here, please feel free to come and chat with us. Let's, uh, or you could rustle the leaves or make knock. something. Yeah. There's knock. lots of stuff you can knock on. Yeah. We'd love a signal. Any sort of interaction you can give us. Like you said, maybe they don't like the tech. Maybe they want the old school. Yeah. We're going We're to do. We're happy with um, whatever. Why don't we do ghost tube seer? Sure. And we'll see if we get any images through seer. So I will film. I'm filming through seer. Okay. So we can see Kelly there. You can see bright light, <laughs> and the camera is off over that way. <clears throat> well, let's see if we get anything through Seer. We're getting something. Hmm. That is weird. <laughs> it is. We'll put the image on screen. Uh, please let me know your interpretations of this image. Not sure what to make of that. I, I'm curious to read the story about this place now. True. Yeah. Hmm. We are by the lake. It does look like there's water in mm -hmm, this image. Definitely. Potentially fishing poles or something for yeah. hunting okay. fish of some kind of spears. Very interesting. That's why it's always nice to go into these blind, though, because then you don't have any preconceived notions of what you're going to get. Right. So when you do get something, just you can interpret it freely. Exactly, yeah. Oh, somebody off in the distance started a car. How much will that pick up on your... The mics might pick it up a little bit, the car, so... It's off over that way, though. So. It's not windy tonight, so if we did get a gust, that would maybe yeah could be yeah, interpreted there's zero as something. Breeze at all. Sears fairly quiet, though. Let's swap it out. I'll go with the uh, the classic. Ghost tube. Okay. Let's see. We're here. Well, that was quick. I hadn't even hit the record button yet. Yeah. Did did it say in text what it said? Yeah, we're here. We're here. Oh. Interesting. Okay. Do you have a name that you can share with us? We'd love to find out your name. And again, you can come near the device on the ground. It'll do that if you go near it. You can go near the device that Kelly is holding. It will light up if you go to it. We're happy to have any interaction possible. Come back. Come back. Come back where? Wants to come back here another time? I do have the spirit box in my pocket too, so okay. we can get that going. Sure. At some point. Let's see. There's a couple other outbuildings around here that we can explore a little okay. bit. Okay. Sounds good. Yeah. We'll do a session here, maybe a session over at that one. Okay. We'll try and squeeze in something by the mansion. Without interrupting. Without interrupting <laughs> the event and without picking up noise from the event. Yes. That's interesting that this made so much noise when it was first Initially, placed, yeah. and then basically nothing. quiet since. But there's nothing here that would have done that. 
Hmm. And I was at the yellow, and you saw how close I had to... Right, yeah, yeah. And there was no way you were that close to it. No. And even after I set it down and backed away, it was still going for a while. And it drops off, like, as soon as you pull away. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. That was weird. I've never experienced that with that before. But even like this, there's nothing. Mm -hmm. It's usually at least coming up with something. Cross. Cross. Is there a cross anywhere? Maybe inside? Or by the road, or yeah. it might mean angry. Yeah, that is true. That is true. I didn't think of that one. Mm. Are you angry with us? Are you angry with us being here? Mm. We don't mean him. to. Him. Are you angry with me being here? You know what? I'm going to keep recording through this, but I'm going to back away and leave you just here then. Sure. Just in case. Yeah. That's what it is. Yeah. But I've still got the phone recording. I've okay. still got my mic on. You're okay. just there by yourself now. So okay. maybe okay. something will happen. Interesting. If we, you want to go there and talk to Kelly, you can. We don't mean to disturb you in any way. Right. I think we're going to have to take a quick pause. And then we'll... We'll set up for Spirit Box. Okay. And uh, I got to swap batteries in this camera because this one's already dead for some reason. Oh, shoot. Okay. Yeah. And the mics have actually drained a fair bit in the time we've been using them. The few minutes. Yeah. Okay. Which is interesting because usually they last like 15 hours. I remember you saying that. Yeah. So, okay. We're going to do a battery check on everything, swap some out, and then we'll be right back. Okay. We're live again. Okay. We're back. We're back. And we've got a brand new battery in the camera. And I think we've got enough battery in the mics to last a little while. We're going to leave Kelly over there by herself. I'm going to actually give Kelly the spirit box, I think. Okay. And then walk away. Uh, just in case it doesn't like me, whatever presence is here doesn't like me. Sure. Okay, so we've got this sweeping FM. Yep. 150 millisecond. I'll take this back. Okay. You've got the REM pod there with you. You've got the spirit box going with you. Mm -hmm. So I'll let you see yeah. if you can get any communication. I'm gonna just back away. Sure. Is anyone here with me today? My name is Kelly. I wonder if anyone got a name there. My name is Kelly. I'd love to talk to you. Can you share a name with me? Please? Could go near this machine on the floor. Make the lights go off. Could knock on the walls around me, rustle the leaves. Something to say that you're here. Are you making our batteries die quickly? That was interesting that there was like a mute almost there. Mm -hmm. I haven't experienced that before. You could say hello through the radio station, the machine that I'm holding. Uh, 
almost sounded like a hello there. My name is Kelly. Hello. I'd love to talk with you. That could have been a name. Is your name Ben? I love the, uh, the responses I get in the comments from people. Mm -hmm. That's my one of my favorite parts. Yeah. And listening with headphones is such a difference. Oh, a very different experience, yeah. It's too bad that we can't, that ticked a little bit. Interesting. The tiniest bit. It's too bad there's not a way to get the headphone experience Live. while you do it. Yeah. I mean, you probably could, but then I don't know if it would play it for everybody else right. to hear too. So. If you could hear me, could you please make the leaves rustle near my feet? Another thing you can do is hold up a number of fingers mm. and ask for... Okay. Because I'll that try way that. You, can, you can basically get an intelligent response. I like that. Yeah. So I see a jogger coming up behind you or an employee. Somebody. I'm holding up some fingers. Could you tell me how many fingers I'm holding? Ask them to try and say it louder and clearer, because I think I heard it, but ask them to try and be louder and clearer. Can you try and be louder and clearer? How many fingers am I holding up? Hmm. We'd love it if you could communicate in a way that we can understand. Can you see my fingers? How many do I have up? Switch it up and try again with a different number. I'm trying again. How many fingers can you see? Can you help me? Please tell me how many fingers you can see. For reference, this, I thought I heard it though. For reference, those were human footsteps, somebody running by. That was not a spirit. And there's a motorcycle or something. Oh no, that's just a car. We have words for people who drive cars like that. Me too. Yeah. Hmm. What about Kelly's shirt color? Can you tell us Kelly's shirt color? At least something close. That's a good idea. Because it could be considered a lot of things depending on the light you're seeing it in. Sure. You get really crazy and tell us what's on the shirt. <laughs> I was just thinking that. That is a different voice. Yeah. Hello? Can you say hello to me? It was definitely a man's voice that didn't sound like it was on the radio itself. Yeah. And to me, it sounded like the same voice twice, like again, yeah. shortly after. Is there someone here that would like to talk to me?
My name is Kelly. Can I hear your name, please? I'm listening for that same voice again now. Yeah, me too. You know what? I'm thinking we should set up a different shot. And because there is no wind tonight, I think it would be a good night to try with some dozen rods for a little bit. Just sure. Go old school I think with that's that. That's a good idea. And see what happens. Okay. Let's We're going to change things up a bit and get some dowsing rods out. Okay. Uh, we'll see you in a second. So I am getting Kelly the dowsing rods. I have never tried these before. Okay, so very simple. You hold out. You try and be as steady as you can. You ask to cross for yes, uncross for no. Okay. Okay. And we have zero breeze tonight, so that is fantastic. So if there is anyone here with us tonight, uh, you can take the rods that Kelly is holding, cross them for a yes, uncross them for a no. So if you're here with us, can you cross the rods, please? Let's see if anything happens. And with these, you have to get multiple responses, basically. Mm -hmm. um, because you can almost sort of influence them sometimes. Sure. To... Definitely not intentionally, but... Yeah, it can sometimes happen. Yeah, but if you're here and you can move the rods and cross them, please do so. We've got more people coming down the path, so just... Uh... If you happen to hear voices or, or footsteps, footsteps yeah. they are other people right now. I almost feel like my heartbeat is making it move. Yeah, yeah it definitely gives you that feeling. If someone is here with us, will you please cross the rods? almost like it's trying. Yeah. Interesting. Okay, you know what? I'm going to back away again. See if... They got closer. Okay, they've crossed. They've crossed. They've okay. crossed. Okay. Can you push them apart, please? Just make sure they're not touching. Yeah. That's all. But if you're here, can you separate the rods, please? Open them wide again. Oh. They're separated. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Okay. Let's reset here. Mm hmm. Ready? Mm hmm. Okay. Again, there is no breeze. So ask yes or no questions. Okay. And or, just always clarify to say yes, cross, to say no, push right. apart. Um, is there more than one spirit here right now? Cross for yes, separate for no. It's always very difficult to know if it's you or them. Mm -hmm. It's always interesting to go back to a very old school method. Mm hmm. So it looks like a cross. Okay. Okay. So maybe there is more than one. Can Are you, you fighting with each other to cross the rods? Is that why they keep going back and forth because you're fighting with each other? Can somebody push them apart, please? I'm not doing that. Interesting. Are you happy that we're here 
cross for yes, separate for no. <laughs> that, that's, that's a definitive no. Not happy that we're here. Would you like us to pack up and leave? If you can cross them for yes, or keep them apart for no. See what happens with this. Also, we're definitely going to shoot a thumbnail tonight. We forgot to shoot one the last time we did a video together, so I had to use a screen grab. Mm -hmm. So we're definitely going to shoot a thumbnail tonight, though. There's a cross for yes. Yes. So you want us to leave. Okay. How badly do you want us to leave? <laughs> if you really, really want us to leave, make a knocking sound on the building behind us. If you can do that, we will pack up and leave. We want a definitive knocking sound on the building. If we get that, we will leave. That way we know that it's you and not unintentionally Kelly who's making the rods move. But you have to make a knocking sound for us, please. Are you able to make a knocking sound? Cross for yes, push apart for no. Seem to be going apart. Does that mean you cannot do it? Can you make the leaves rustle on the ground? Cross for yes, separate for no. almost like one saying yes, one saying no. I know, and when you said about the fighting, it's almost like one is controlling one rod and someone yeah. else is controlling the other rod. It's interesting. <sighs> okay, so they said they can make the leaves rustle. All right. Do it then, please. Please make the leaves rustle at our feet. And for reference, this is what it would sound like if it were to happen. That being Brian right now. That's just me. Otherwise, Kelly and I are both standing still. So if the leaves do rustle, it's not us. Are we disturbing you? Cross for yes, separate for no. It does look almost like they're, they're fighting each mm -hmm. other. It's interesting. feel like we should do another spirit box session here. Sure. Okay. I'm going to bring Kelly the spirit box and take away the uh, dowsing rods. And there we are. Okay. It seems that there's some spirits here with us tonight. Can you say hello to the machine I'm holding? Yeah, these mics are going down pretty fast, so I don't know how much time we're going to get. It's weird. Maybe that's the spirits here, killing the batteries, because yeah. they don't want us here too long. It's entirely possible. Yeah, because the lights are at about half, too. Interesting. Yeah. My name is Kelly. 
Can you please tell me your name? If we are disturbing you, can you say the word go through the device that I'm holding? Or knock on the walls behind us? Thought I heard a go there. But I couldn't tell, yeah. yeah. Like it almost sounded like a you can go. From back here, anyway. But again, if you're watching it at home, I'd love to know your thoughts, too. Did you hear the same thing I heard? Are you making our batteries die quickly tonight? It's not cold enough to where it should be really affecting the battery. Exactly. But sub-zero, you have to worry about that. It's still like 10 degrees out here. There's something there I'd like to hear with headphones because it really sounded like something that... Yeah. But you're not sure what? Not a clue. Okay. That was a weird sound. I'd still love for you to make a knocking sound on the building if you can. Well, they said they can't, so can you rustle the leaves if, if that was them on the Delsing Rod? Yeah. Can you rustle the leaves or knock on the wall, please? We'd love to know that you're here with us, although if they don't want us here, maybe they don't want to perform yeah. for us. I think what we'll do is we'll pack up from here. We'll move to that other outbuilding for a quick session there. See how that goes and then consider wrapping it up and looking up the story. So that Sounds we can good share to it. me. All right, let's do that. Okay, we've moved to a different spot. I'm going to bring back the REM pod here. We'll set it on the table. Maximum sensitivity. There we go. Make sure that is in the shot. It's ticking, but not flashing. Okay. Ticking a lot. Interesting. And move it further away from you. Okay. Okay, so it's further away from you. We've got the REM pod. We'll get the spirit box going here. Now let's see. Uh, You'll have to remind me what I need to press. Sweep, reverse. Sweep, reverse, yep. Hold it down. There you go. Got it. There's While no Kelly is doing that, I'm going to be off camera, but here with uh, Ghost Tube, which is frozen on oh. my phone. Interesting. Does your tech mess up at other ghost hunting videos too? Sometimes here and there. Yeah. But never. As much. Yeah. I wonder what that is about. I don't know. Because it also, when we did our last one, the same with the camera yeah. and stuff. Yeah, that was weird. If someone is here with us tonight, can you please say hello? So while Kelly is over there, I'm going to back away with Ghost Tube going. Recording through Ghost Tube. Getting some little flashes on the REM pod. Okay. You could go closer to this machine and make the lights go off. And so this is the building that we're set up outside. Sure. 
Try the finger count again. I was just thinking that. Yeah. I'm holding up some fingers. Can you say how many fingers that I'm holding up? And you can use the device I'm holding to give the number as well, if that works better for you. Watch. Watch what? Are you going to do something for us? Or are you saying watch because I was watching Kelly through the monitor here? I'm holding up some different fingers. Can you tell me how many fingers I'm holding? Please? I heard something that sounded like my last number. There, there can be a delay too. Okay. Yeah. You can't understand. Understand. You can't understand. Understand. That's a weird back to back. This is ticking again too. Interesting. Yeah, the light in it's flashing. Can you make some more lights go off on that machine? I'm gonna... Oh no, now the light's done, but it's ticking. I'm going to bring another method of interaction over. Okay. Uh, I have to put my phone in airplane mode. And we're going to get the spirit music box going, so you cannot bang the table, okay? Okay. So I've got my phone on the table in airplane mode with the spirit music box happening. Pretty sure my phone's at full volume. I'll just double check quick. Yes, phone is at full volume. The REM pod screaming was me. It's ticking again. If you touch the other device on the table, it'll play music. We, we just want to know you're here. Should I turn this off for a minute so that we hear music if there is some, or? Oh, we'll hear it. Oh, it's that loud, yeah. okay, okay. And it's creepy music too, so it makes it so much better. <laughs> That's ticking quite quickly right now. Yeah. And it shouldn't be getting anything off my phone because my phone is on airplane mode. So it's not broadcasting or receiving anything. With this? I'm not sure. I know CB radios can interfere with the REM pod, but I don't think just AM, FM does. Okay, yeah. Yeah. So yeah, that's one of the things when I started using that is people told me, make sure nobody's using CBs around you. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay. Can you use any of the three devices that are here to somehow let us know that you're here, please? Make the lights and sounds go off on this one, or music on this one, or... If you tap the phone, you should be able to hear it. Like, are you asking me to tap it? Yeah, go ahead and tap it. Unless... So that's how loud it'll be. Okay. Yeah. So we'll definitely be able to hear it. That's all you have to do. Is just go near them. More red flashing. Go closer. Make one of the other colored lights go on. Yeah. It won't hurt you. Go closer. You can do it. You're safe. You can sit down at the table with Kelly. <laughs> 
she'd love for you to sit with her. Go ahead and sit with her at the table. Should have brought some tea to share. I'm not gonna lie, a cup of tea would probably go really good right now. <laughs> I think it was just the way I moved, like it looked like the firelight did something, but I think it's just your light reflecting you on it. Okay. okay, well I think while we have microphones, we should wrap this up. Fair enough. And uh, we'll pull up the story for Kelly to talk about it. Let's do that. All right, so a little bit of history about Paletta Mansion. Paletta Mansion is home to several ghosts, the most prominent being Edith and Dorothy. Edith's spectral demeanor seems to be more of a stern woman, while the interesting point about Dorothy's ghost, she only appears in the form of herself as a child. Most believe that this is because her most cherished and happy times were at the estate, so perhaps it's how she chose to come back from the afterlife. The dollhouse is shown on the original estate plan from 1930 and was built as a playhouse for Dorothy McKay as a young child. It is a miniature one-room framed bungalow structure clad with narrow clapboard siding, similar to that on the gatehouse, stables, carriage house, and barn, all which currently sit on the property. The dollhouse also had running water and electricity. So there we have it, Paletta Mansion. Um, definitely have to do a bit more research. Definitely gonna have to come back here. Uh, maybe we'll bring Kelly back too, uh, just cause she's fun to have around. Uh, anyway, uh, any final thoughts from you? It was a great time as always. I can't wait to see what the listeners have to think or have to say. And thanks for having me. No problem. That's, I'm always curious to see what people hear that we miss while we're doing this live. Mm -hmm. And I also never want to fully tell people what I think I'm hearing. Just sure. to leave it open to community interpretation. Absolutely. But as always, thank you very much for watching. Appreciate it. Uh, please hit the like, hit the subscribe, hit that notification bell. So you know these videos are going live Sunday nights at 8 o'clock. And as always, let's find something.